Yo, what's going on guys? It is Kevlock here. Today, I got a video about Cinderace, the new Pokemon in the Raid Dens. Oh, oh my goodness. Alright, I don't know what this Bombardier is doing, but as you can see right here, because I got forced into a battle, this is my shiny Cinderace that I have right here. And there's some pretty important info about shiny Cinderace, including the only way to obtain in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what videos I should make next. And yeah, with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. So if I open my party up, you can see multiple Cinderace and Scorbunny for the purpose of this video. And if I look at them, some are shiny, some are not. I can look at the summary. This one right here is indeed shiny. This is the one that was just sent out in battle. But we have a shiny Cinderace right here. This is a shiny Scorbunny. It looks great in Scarlet and Violet. This is a regular score bunny for comparison. And then right here, I have the regular Cinderace. So like I said before, there is only going to be one way to actually get this guy in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If I open up my boxes, you can see right here, I have a lot prepared. At the exact time that this video is going live, the Cinderace Terra event that was announced before is going live. This event will be taking place for three days and then it will go on break and then it will be available for another three day gap. It's the same thing that they did with the Charizard event. From my understanding, the Cinderace raids are going to be shiny locked just like Charizard raids were meaning that if you look online even if you were to normally find a shiny charizard raid it will not be shiny so for example this raid right here let's say i clicked on it and it was the cinderace for the raid event and i clicked on it and it were to normally be a shiny raid it will not so what you have to do is you have to go over here and you have to make a picnic this place over in alfornada is my favorite so i like to go over here i actually already have a video about shiny hunting methods and my favorite one to go over here and actually set up a picnic. If you go over here in Alfornada and you go up to this door, you can actually get egg power too and immediately start getting these eggs prepared. The second dish right here, you buy this, you'll be getting egg power level two and it's really good because this is my favorite area by far to hatch eggs in because you can also find really good wild Pokemon here too. So there we go. We just got egg power two activated. If you check your buffs right here by pressing the R button on the D-pad, it'll pop up there saying we have egg power two for 30 minutes. So what I recommend is you run around this corner, you get over here and you could either use Ditto or you can use multiple Score Bunny or Cinderace. You probably won't have multiple though if you just did your first den. Normally right here is where you'd make your picnic, but as you can see with every Pokemon in my party being male, not sure if you guys know how the process works, but we're not exactly going to get any eggs doing this. So go over to your boxes, I'm going to be using a Ditto, because if you have Ditto, even with a male, it does work somehow, I'm not going to question it. Alright, we got a Ditto right here, so all you need is one Cinderace or Score Bunny, or even Raboot, that works too. So I'm going to take all these other ones out of my party and just have a Ditto. This is the point where your picnic is ready to be made, you can click on the basket and it says there's nothing in here, so really, you can just set your Joy-Cons or your controller down, give it about a minute. With the math I've done, every minute and a half, you will get around four eggs with egg power too so i'm just gonna wait a little bit it's been about i don't know 45 seconds so if i click right here it'll say there's a pokemon egg click yes and take it there are multiple so keep taking all these eggs up i got exactly four eggs so what i'm gonna do now because i'm not actually gonna shiny hunt it right this second open up your boxes and you'll see right here four eggs so i'm gonna move all of these into my party and i'm gonna hatch them real quick the odds of any of these four eggs being a shiny is incredibly low because the odds are one out of 512 now just run around. I'm sure you guys know how to shiny hunt with Masuda already. If you don't, you just need two Pokemon of different language origins. So that's why I was using a Japanese Ditto with my English Cinderace. With the release in Scarlet and Violet, I've noticed there are a lot of trainers starting out Pokemon for the first time who've never played a Pokemon game before. So it makes sense that a lot of people would not know this. These eggs are going to take a little bit longer to hatch than normal because I don't have a Pokemon in my party with the Flame Body ability, which makes eggs hatch much faster. My eggs are finally starting to hatch, but yeah, this is currently the one only way to get Shiny Cinderace or Score Bunny or Raboot in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is a regular Score Bunny right here. When the Shiny is found, you will know because instead of it being a really dark orange or maybe even a light red color with this Score Bunny right here, it'll be more of a golden yellow color. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be the only way to get Shiny Cinderace currently in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In the future, when Pokemon Home Support is added, you will be able to transfer in the whole Cinderace line from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I believe that in some point in the future, these Pokemon will be coming to Pokemon Go as well, so you'll be able to send them from Pokemon Go either directly to Scarlet and Violet or through Pokemon Home. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you join my Discord server, Oceanside Pokemon, there are a lot of people that will be doing these Cinderace raids in there. So if you're having trouble defeating it, oh wait, I already hatched my last egg. But yeah, if you're having trouble defeating Cinderace, make sure to join up on my Discord. It'll be a lot of fun. That's going to be it for this video though if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and comment down below what video i should make next and that's gonna be it for today i'll see you guys next time peace out everyone and have a happy new year